Welcome to Hart County Public Library Outreach Virtual Storytime. We are so glad that you could join us. The Nutcracker is one of the world's favorite holiday stories. Nutcracker dolls, also known as Christmas Nutcrackers, are decorative figurines most commonly made to resemble a toy soldier. In German tradition, the dolls are symbols of good luck. They are a part of German folklore, serving as protectors of the house. Today, my book is illustrated by Mary Engelbrecht. Once upon a time, the Nutcracker had been placed under a terrible spell that changed him from a handsome prince to an ugly thing. He believed that the Mouse King's spell meant that no one could ever learn to love him. So he was surprised when the toy maker Drosselmeyer took him from the shelf saying, you will be the perfect gift for my niece, Marie. As their car rolled into the night, the Nutcracker wondered what was in store. After a long ride, they stopped in front of a lovely house, all aglow with festive light. Before you could say Merry Christmas, the Nutcracker was inside. Marie and her little brother Fritz waited by the beautiful Christmas tree in the living room, excited to greet their uncle. A hush fell over the guest as the toy maker unveiled his gifts. Drosselmeyer gave Fritz a box of magnificent toy soldiers. Turning to Marie, he presented two large dolls, Harlequin and Columbine. They danced and twirled with each other until the guests were nearly dizzy from watching. And then, while the others marveled at the two dolls, Uncle Drosselmeyer gave Marie the Nutcracker. She loved him at first sight, but Fritz was jealous that his sister had received another gift. When he cracked the Nutcracker's head trying to open a nut, Fritz shouted, Who cares? He's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Marie cried as she bound the Nutcracker's head with a silky red ribbon. You are not ugly to me, she whispered, putting him to rest under the Christmas tree. Later, she crept down the stairs to see if he was well. In the dreamy quiet of night, she soon fell asleep. Boom! Boom! Marie was awakened with a terrible fright. Drosselmeyer sat on the booming grandfather clock, sprinkling magic into the air. Below him, the floor began to shake. Out from the darkness came the very fierce Mouse King, wearing a golden crown and waving his sword. Marie was so frightened she fell and bumped her knee. The Nutcracker leapt to her defense and led the fight, shouting, Charge! But the Mouse King was strong. Just when all seemed hopeless, Marie threw her shoe at the Mouse King and saved the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker seized a silver sword from one of Fritz's toy soldiers and challenged the Mouse King one last time. Their battle was fierce. Yet, by the stroke of midnight, the Nutcracker had claimed his victory and the spell was broken. The Nutcracker was himself again. Now, a handsome prince, the Nutcracker whispered, Thank you, dear Marie. When he gave her the Mouse King's golden crown, her heart swelled with happiness. Then he asked, Will you come to Toyland, my kingdom? I want you to love it as I do. Snowflakes spun around them as they flew through the cold night into a land of warmth and sunshine. They passed through a forest where golden fruit grew on every branch and the smell of Christmas and candy floated around them. Soon they came upon a little gathering of dancers who played reed flutes so sweetly. Each note seemed to be made of sugar. Then Marie saw a beautiful lady coming toward them from a distance. This is the sugar plum fairy, the prince said. She watched over Toyland while I was under the spell. Flute music floated in the air as the Sugar Plum Fairy led them across the kingdom to the prince's gingerbread castle. They feasted on chocolates, ginger snaps, and cakes. As they ate, 
Dancers from every kingdom entertained them. At last, the prince asked Marie to dance with him. As the moon glimmered above them, she whispered, I love you, my nutcracker. When Marie woke the next morning, she was back in her own bed, and her nutcracker was nowhere to be found. She ran downstairs to search for him and found her uncle Drosselmeyer. Behind him was her prince. The prince said, by loving me, despite my appearance, you set me free from the Mouse King's spell. He gently took her hand. If you'll agree, when you are grown, I'll return and make you queen of Toyland. And in that magical place, they lived happily ever after.